is allowed in Islam. Okay, every newborn baby is pricked by Satan, and he cries from the touch of Satan. Sahih Bukhari hadith number three hundred, uh, three thousand two hundred forty-eight, and Sahih Muslim also has uh, uh, mentioned this hadith. Both are agree on this. Okay, Abu Huraira reported the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, "No person is born but that he is pricked by Satan, and." He cries from the touch of Satan, except for Mary and her son Isa. So, as I have already told you, that that is the standard of the holiness of Christ, of Jesus and Mary in Quran, that enemy couldn't touch them. So that's why we can mention that verse that we say Jesus, he's a son of God because of his holiness. Okay, God give birth to God, men give birth to men, animal give birth to animals. Okay. You can explain this thing to them. So, no repentance on deathbed. Quran chapter four verse eighteen. But repentance is not accepted of those who continue to do evil deeds up until when death comes to one of them. He says, "Indeed, I have repented now." Are of those who die while they are disbelieves. For them, we have prepared painful. Punishment. Salvation is by good deeds. Quran chapter twenty-three, verse one o one to one o three. Then, when the trumpet is blown, there will be no more relationship between them that day, nor will one ask after another. Then, those whose balance of good deeds is heavy, they will attain salvation. But whose, but those whose balance is light will be those who have lost their souls. in hell will they abide the moon was split into two by muhammad muhammad split the moon into two pieces and this is one of the miracles which he performed quran chapter 54 verse 1 and 2 the hour has come near and the moon has split in two and if they see a miracle they turn away and say passing a magic as i have already told you that moon is not too small that he can fell one part of his right hand side and another one to his left hand side so it is not possible so the moon was split into two by muhammad in 2010 a nasa lunar science staff scientist named brad bailey said no current scientific evidence reports that the moon was split into two or more parts and then reassembled at any point in the past so nasa doesn't support this miracle so this is the some of the historical and scientific problems in islam even science doesn't support the quran okay so any question so far no so very quickly i will give you some practical uh, guidelines which are very important when you talk to the muslims and sit with them engage with them and talk to them you need to keep these things in mind okay so i want to give you some practical guidelines please keep it in mind when you meet with your muslim friends make friendship with them invite them to your home and show hospitality let them know that you will serve them halal food because they if you will not mention halal food they will not come but if you will say that i will serve you a halal food then they will say yeah yeah yeah, yeah we will come and they love fellowship they love invitations and they love to go people's house so appreciate their food when you finish their food appreciate their food and ask for the recipe or tell the wife to teach you how to cook the meal you enjoyed the most okay in this way you will build relationship with them and dress modestly when you visit their home let them feel that you are interested in knowing them as individuals first win their hearts and then their minds all the muslims love to be prayed so offer your prayers to them ask them if you can lay your hands upon them they will love it focus to their problems and pray accordingly and you can mention the name of jesus and whatever you want you can pray in prayer whatever you will say they will not ask question about that so don't hesitate to pray for the food because they know that christians bless their food before they eat it when you visit to their home share your personal experience with god 
especially your personal testimony how you received christ how was your life before receiving christ and how christ changed your life and what is your life now after receiving christ because this is what they want to know because quran doesn't help them to change their life but when you will tell them that how this book has changed your life how christ came into your life and now you have a personal relationship they will love it they will want to listen stories when you will tell your story to them they will love it so talk about the peace which god has given to you are the purpose of your life and the personal relationship which you have now with god show them that you are faith truthful with your friendship and he and be sensitive talk to them with kindness and patience be acknowledge be knowledgeable regarding islam you need to know at least basic of the islam but you but if you <clears throat> show them that you know islam by using their terminology and quran then they will be willing to listen and to welcome you time to time until either you win them to christ or depart as a friend the average muslims do not know the quran this strategy will help you to come closer to your friends heart and will make you more effective in winning the muslims for christ when you visit them in their homes take the gospel according to john as a gift for them it it is very easy to read and understand for the muslims most of the muslims have not read or seen a bible so start with the gospel according to john with them when they finish the gospel according to john then give them the new testament don't give them bible at first maybe they will enjoy it reading till the end of genesis but after that they will lose interest and will give up when they come to your home show respect for the bible do not place it on the floor or in the bathroom muslims still consider it the word of god even if they have not read it okay so muslims are generally superstitious they deal with witchcraft fortune telling and charms to protect themselves from evil spirits they are very fearful people so don't make them don't do anything suspicious or if you do anything explain to them okay so don't leave them in the air you need to surround yourself with much prayer it is advisable to work with intercessors you need to be covered with prayers before and after witnessing always pray a brush of prayer for yourself are you aware of brush of prayer what is brush of prayer okay you all know no? good well done it is very important to brush of ourselves here is our one model of uh, prayer for you heavenly father thank you for giving me an opportunity to share my faith with this muslim person as a child of god and a joint heir with christ who has all authority in heaven and on earth i command every islamic spirit to leave me and i brush it off from my body spirit and soul i wash and cover myself with the blood of jesus christ and father i ask you to bless me the double whatever i have given out today in jesus mighty name amen so this thing will help you because you know mostly i have ministered to so many people who were involved in muslim evangelism and muslim activities and after that i found them possessed i have ministered to so many people because islamic spirits are very strong spirits and especially in islam the spirit of lie and spirit of murder and anger is very strong and you always need to bind these spirits okay i'm not scaring you okay but i am awaring you i'm letting you know to know what is going on around you so finally don't forget to ask your helper holy spirit to give you wisdom because without the wisdom of god you cannot win anyone for christ can we say amen 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 so god bless you thank you very much and if you have any question you can ask okay okay now is oppor- uh, is a opportunity for you if you want to share something if you have learned something if you are blessed or if it was just a boring you can give your comments i will not mind about it thank you very much.